many people doesn't know that they can even add a video in their powerpoint presentation generally people use a external platform like uh, any other media player to show their video while presenting their ppt into the meeting but by adding a video you can make this process seamless and you don't have to be hustle while shuffling the different platforms so in this video we are going to show you how you can insert video in powerpoint presentation also we'll be telling you some some of the main settings about the video in powerpoint software so hey guys welcome back to marketing fundas global this is the 22nd video in this ms powerpoint presentation course and in this video we are going to show you how you can insert video in powerpoint so let's get into the video So we are in the PowerPoint presentation software. Now let's take a blank presentation. Now let me change the layout into black blank as well. Now in order to insert a video, you have to go to insert and in this media option, we got three options, screen recording, audio and video. Let's choose the video option. In video option, we got two options. The first one is this device. If you have locally available the video in your device, you can use this option otherwise you can go with online option as well you just have to enter the url from these platforms uh youtube slideshare vimeo stream or flip and you'll be able to insert the video from these platforms with this with the url okay otherwise you can go with this uh, local option so right now i do have the video in my pc that's why i'm choosing the local option just select the op video and hit insert once you click on insert by default it takes the whole slide otherwise if you are not liking you can resize resize it as well like this okay now after adding the video we are into video tools and we got two options video format and playback in video format we got these options let's talk about these options one by one the first one is play if you click so on this do you want to leverage the uh, play button the video will be played then we have corrections if you are thinking that the video brightness is not that good you want to brighten the video or you if you want to darken the video maybe the video is very bright right you want to darken the video you can click on this correction option and you got these preset options which will help you to darken or lighten the video like this uh, below this once you are hovering your when you're hovering your cursor over these uh, presets you are seeing the settings that how much brightness and the contrast you are getting like the first one in the first one we are getting minus 40 percent brightness and minus 40 percent contrast and in this we are getting 40 plus plus 40 percent brightness and minus 40 percent contrast so like this uh let's uh let let me add one let me add this one brightness one power of face acting only you have to interact also, with them uh in my video there is no any need of these brightness so let me just undo this by clicking here now after correction we have color option if you want to change the color if you want to add color into your video let's say you want to add grayscale sometimes people want to uh, grayscale their video like this so you can do that like so guys and freelancing do right then of facebook group as well right so although i'm not thinking to grayscale my video so let me just undo otherwise you can use these color options we have some decent color options if you want to use otherwise here are the other color options which you can choose like this when you are hovering your cursor you can see the color which is changing behind right so let me click on again undo then we have poster frame so you might have seen thumbnails on youtube videos okay so poster frame is something like that let me show you once we are here we are just seeing this one okay this is the starting of the video but if you want to add a thumbnail like thing in your this in this particular video you can do that with poster frame uh, let me show you once if i click on this we got three options the first one is current frame then uh, image from obviously we have to choose image from file so if you click here we got these three options from a file which means if you have locally available then you can choose then you can go with the online method as well online for uh, you can download the image from online platforms so let's select the local one because i do have available the thumbnail let's choose this because uh, this is just for demo purposes okay so i'm choosing this one and hit insert now as you can see this is the thumbnail and this is totally like thumbnail right and this is not 
nothing more than thumbnail this is just a thumbnail then after poster frame we have reset design if you want to reset totally reset all the settings which you, uh, which you have done you can do that reset design or reset design and size after that we have video styles in video styles if you click here or here you'll be able to see some different designs which you can add into your video which you can add in your image and in your video as well like this let's choose this one it is looking good you can play even play this video so guys, like this let me decrease the voice decrease the sound so guys do you want to leverage the power of facebook groups that question you can about hmm. these it benefits. is looking good then after using this uh, these video styles you can change the shape as well if you want to change the shape of these video you can do that as well like this or you can do something like this okay after changing the video uh, shape you can change the border as well you can uh, change the border color like this then you can add the weight of the border as well like this then we have video effects as we got in the image we got in the video effects as well like you can add 3d like thing in your videos let's try this one let's try this one so guys do you want to leverage the power of facebook groups well guys if you have a business or an indie so yes this is uh, the video effect option then we have some arrangement option if you are adding multiple videos in a particular slide you can bring forward or backward as well then you got the crop option if you want to crop the video you can do that as well if you want to uh, increase the height and width of the video you can do with these options so that's it we got in this video format option and in playback option we got moreover uh, like editing options you can do trimming you can add bookmark you can add fade in and fade out effect you can manage the volume as well so we'll be talking about these options these playback options in the next video and let's wrap up this video with this uh, video format options only so that's it for this video if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself and i hope you like the video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye